everyone, Shaver1000 here. Another episode of Walk Wednesday. This one's super easy and it should be pretty tasty. So let me get you pointed down here. Just a couple little ingredients. I'll show you what we're going to make. Okay guys, so of course we got our uh, teriyaki sauce here we've got this stuff I love this stuff guys this is very very good and we got our Chinese noodles these are easy I got water boiling over there right now I'm getting ready to put these in uh, but I wanted to show you what I was using these are pretty easy to make you boil them for three minutes well it says cook for about three minutes and then it says to uh, drain them in cold water so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in right now since the water is boiling it says to use three quarts of three three quarts of water okay so all right we got those in there um, now I'm just gonna set this stuff aside for now all I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut the cut the skin off this. This is Smithfield. Uh, I like their meat. They have really good meat. And this is usually BOGO. Buy one, get one. So I think she gave like I don't know, I think it was ten bucks. And we got two of them. I got another one over there, but I think this is probably going to be enough for just me and her tonight um, her mom should be coming home Friday morning anyway they're expecting her to be home Friday so yeah. so now this stuff here I'm just gonna I will cook that up I'll cook it up for Bruno that'll be some of his supper and there is a bone right here so I'm just going to cut this bone out of here. There is some gristle around that bone, so I want to get it get it out too. But I'm just going to make, you know, about one inch chunks, depending on what size you want. So, as you can see, this is just what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it up. I'll cut that gristle out of there, and I'll get this cubed up, and then I'll be back with you. When we're getting ready to put it in the pan okay guys first thing we're going to do is we're going to put I did um, put about oh two tablespoons of um, cornstarch in here mixed it up we're going to put these in here and kind of going to give it a little mix here we're also going to Put some of our uh, teriyaki sauce in here. Good, good little mount there. Now, can't forget this. We'll put about a tablespoon and a half there. May add some more later to taste. We'll see. But as you can see, it's browning up nicely. And that's all we're going to do. We're going to brown this up. And once it gets browned up, let's add a little bit of... Monkey likes the olive oil, so we'll put some olive oil in here for her. Now, I got some um, the water from the noodles which I had put a regular bouillon cube, chicken bouillon cube in it. You can use beef. You don't have to use any if you don't want. Put some of that in there. Just to get, so you get that broken up off the bottom there. And add a little bit more in. They tell you, you're not supposed to do that, but I've never had a problem Especially this is already hot. But I've never had a problem with my cast iron cracking. 
not once and I've I mean I've put cold water in stuff before in cast iron never had a never had an issue with it okay so I'm just gonna keep stirring this up so it don't stick and I'll bring you back when we're ready to put the noodles in so stick around guys okay fellows and fellets you got the meat out of there what I did was I took um, the leftover water broth stuff that I made with the noodles and I mixed some teriyaki sauce in there and some of this just mixed it up real good now we're going to get some of this stuff off, off the bottom here Whoa. make a mess while we're doing it now you need to turn the fire back on, or not fire, but... Put a little... Put a little bit of water in there because we're getting ready to bring the noodles over. Now this stuff here, a lot of people will take it out. That's where all the flavor is, guys gals I know I say gals or guys a lot but <coughs> excuse me and I am gonna add a little bit more of this all right now it's time to bring the noodles over and I strained them in cold water that's that's so that they that they'll stop cooking because if you don't, they'll sit there in that hot water and they'll keep cooking and cooking. And then you'll have uh, soggy noodles. See, look, that, that just um, sops all that. All them flavors that's in there, it sops it up. Now, you can just stir this up. Also, add whatever seasonings and stuff you guys wish. Or none, if you don't want. Um... I have an onion in there. I did. I was going to make. I was going to fry up an onion, and I forgot. So, oh well. But yeah, all those brown, that brown stuff in there that came off the bottom. Look at that. That's going to be. Now, like, like I was going to say, you can just take this out. See, that's all pure flavor right there. And the more you mix it, the more that will go away. But uh, you can take that out now, and then just. Uh, Put your ham on as you wish, but I'm going to go ahead and mix the ham up in it. Let's give us some more of this stuff. And, like I said, we'll give it some more of this. I know it looks like a lot on camera, but that was probably only like a teaspoon right there. So, let's do a little cayenne pepper. Just to give it a little kick. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to turn the heat off. I'm going to add just a little bit more water to kind of help mix up that uh, bouillon powder. There we go. So I am off the fire, off the well, I, I turned the burner off, but it's still on the burner, so it's still going to be hot for a minute. So now, there we go, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, nice. Now, this being cast iron, I can use metal on it with no problem. I know it's loud in the camera, but... Okay, now, there's a big piece there I know do not want to waste. Alright, let's put our our hand back in. Where'd you go? Here it is. And it's still nice and hot. Get all that good juices and grease out of there. Alright, now I'm gonna stir it up some more. Get this all incorporated really well. Mm. 
Mm, yum. And the monkey should be getting home here shortly, so here in a few minutes. She's visiting her mom. She goes every evening. Like I said, I'm just going to keep stirring this for a minute. And I'll be back with you. I got some more of this stuff here. It's in there. Then we'll give this a shot. Okay, so all these lights and I still got bad lighting. I think it reflects too much off the back. It kind of overexposes me, but I got just a little bit here. First, I'm going to try a piece of ham by itself. A couple of noodles on there. Mmm. Well, that Smithfield and their sausages are good. I think I've mentioned it a time or two before, but they have some good meats. Now I'm going to try some. And then, and then I'll wait for Monkey to get back to eat with her. So let's try this. Mm. Easy. So, you can do this in a regular pan, guys. Um, most all the stuff I do in these walks, you can do in a regular skillet. So, yeah, um, I think that's, that's it. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, uh, just some noodles and some ham. Uh, if you get leftover ham, Easter, Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving, whatever, New Year. Chop it up, mix it in with some noodles, man. Uh, can't go wrong. Easy, uh, good way to get rid of leftovers. Then you can take them to work for lunches, uh, whatever. So, anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Walk Wednesday. <laughs> I know I don't do one every Wednesday, but um, um, doesn't get very many views. Here lately, my views have dropped off. I'm getting uh, over 100 subscribers a month, well, in 28 days. And for some reason, man, but my views are just, my view counts down. Weird. Okay, so, that means that I'm going to say Shea Bear the Myth, the Man of Legend, gone for now. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to check out Monkey 1000 and BXX32. They're awesome. And also, remember, Dean Moo, he's a good one, too. Love these puppets. Shout out to you guys. Appreciate you. I love you all. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.